Okay, look, can, uh, sorry, Jane, yes, you Why can, yeah. um, take out well-loved, identical characters from the programme? Well, I our mean, audience, uh, audience research tells us that they're not well-loved and well-loved. Diane, Diane must be well-loved. Well, yes, I, indeed, they, they were well-loved. Um, it wasn't my fault the actress pulled out. Did she want to get back in again, though, at a later date? Yes, um, it's, a, it's a sort of a bit personal, the sort of relationship there. It, it is true that she may have been willing to change her mind at but a later date. But you weren't going to change yours? Um, once scripts have been written, so and you're a long your way fault. ahead, and you've, you've <laughs> actually decided what you're going to do on OB and everything, the scripts are done, there comes a point when it's very, very difficult to go back. Right, let's go to Cle Red Car in Cleveland. Darren Hutchinson should be on the line. Hello, Darren. Good morning. I, I read recently one of the national newspapers that you were to bring back Noel Gordon as a ghost by using footage of it from all episodes of Crossroads. So I'd like to know if what I've read is true. Is it, Bill? Uh, no, I'm not um, going to use old footage of anybody and superimpose it anywhere. Did you think of it? No. <laughs> right. <laughs> OK. Emily Walsh from Oldham on the line. Yes. Emily, hello. What's your point? Well, I'm in full agreement with the Miss Sergeant. Uh, I think that by taking all the class out of Crossroads, uh, he's bringing it into line with uh, the Queen Vic of East Tenders, the Rovers' return of Coronation Street, and uh, I'm not pleased at all with the manager. I think he's disgusting, and he'd be lucky if he gets any staff, let alone clientele. I mean, uh, when you pay to stay at a place, you want value for money. Well, Emily, actually, let me put that to Jane Sargent, who's with us in the studio. Now, Jane actually works in a hotel, Jane, are there managers of the caliber of Tommy Lancaster? Not that I know of. Obviously, there are men such as Tommy Lancaster, but uh, to my knowledge and to my experience, I wouldn't say that he would last five minutes. And certainly, I agree with Mrs. Walsh. Um, staff wouldn't work for him at all. There, uh, there must be some plus points, though. I mean, you do work in a hotel. There must be some similarities, uh, realities that you see. Very crossroads. little, to be quite honest with you, Amy. Very little. I mean, uh, the receptionists don't seem to do anything at all. I mean, we are normally run off our feet. Um, and one point, I don't know whether Mr Smetherhurst was responsible for it, but round about Christmas time, they had a, a function in the dining room for uh, a party, a Christmas party. And uh, one of the points, one of the waitresses went up to Adam Chance and said, well, I don't know how, if any more come in, we're going to run out of uh, vegetables and carrots. Well, if uh, a motel of the quality supposedly of Crossroads, it wouldn't last five minutes in a, in a resort or anywhere uh, if they're going to do that on a, a function. Mm. Bill, what, what is your mm. plan? What way do you see Crossroads going? Well, yes, I'll, I'll certainly check up on quantities of carrots and vegetables. I, I do take the point about whether it actually does portray um, something which we can believe in as a real motel or hotel or at least place anyway. Um, I see it going um, in, as a good-natured program, a, a, a program you can look at and enjoy, perhaps smile at, um, with real characters we can identify with, something we can enjoy watching for 20 minutes at the end of a hard day's work. Right, OK. Uh, a telephone call now from Wakefield in West Yorkshire. Terry Javins should be on the phone. Terry? Good morning. Hi, Terry. What's your point? Um, I'd like to point out to um, the new producer block who is there um, that uh, I used to watch Crossroads, but I don't now. Um, I think Benny is a, a poor actor, and I think he acts like a two-year-old on television. Um, couldn't you make him such a, you know, a better character or whatever? Why does he have to play so dumb in Crossroads? Why is he only, why is he, uh, the only person, you know, odd one out? Well, as you used to watch it but don't watch now, it's rather difficult for me to reply because you obviously haven't seen the sort of stuff we've been doing. Um, the question of whether Benny should be quite as stupid as he apparently is, it is, I think it's been going on for a very long time. I think when he first came into the programme, he couldn't read or write. And successively over the years, he's gone through periods when he's been quite clever, and then periods his actual mental level has gone from about 5 to 15, and it's swung back and forth. We're actually having discussions with the writers about this, seeing if we can fix a common age for Benny, which we'll all stick to. Right, Terry, thank you very much indeed for your call. Bill, thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us today and uh, answering a lot of those queries. Thank you. Um,
Jane, just briefly, I mean, you're there, you're the viewer. How long will you give this new format? I mean, you still watch the programme. I still watch the programme at the moment. How long will you continue to watch it? Um, six months at the most. Six months, that's the, the time limit. Maybe we'll review it again after that. Thank Jane, you. thank you very much indeed for coming in today.